You've almost certainly heard of the Kohler Company, but have you ever been to the village of Kohler? Developed back in the early 1900s, the village was developed by Walter J. Kohler, the son of the company's founder, John Michael, as an industrial community. Today, it's home to roughly 2,000 people, and it has a lot of rich culture. CBS 58's Emerson Lehman takes us there for this week's Hometown Stop. Established in 1912, the village of Kohler was built on manufacturing and the American dream, and it is filled with history, including right here at the Walder House. Let's head inside. Welcome to the Walder House. Hello, I'm Jen Volge, and welcome to the Walder House. The Walder House was finished in 1931. It took about two years to build. The Kohler family is from the Bregenzerwald region in Austria, which is this really isolated little alpine valley. And so this style of architecture came from there. And it was built for the Kohler Girl Scouts and the Kohler Women's Club to use as their headquarters. But it was always meant to be a community space, so we offer free tours every day at 2, 3, and 4 p.m. I'm Kelly Holtzbauer. We're standing at the Kohler Design Center in Kohler, Wisconsin. When you come to the Design Center, it's actually something that you can spend a lot of time at. So it's 3,600 square feet, and there's three floors to explore, so people can tackle the mezzanine if they want some inspiration. They can come on the first floor if they're selecting products, and if they're really interested in history, they could go to the lower level. We're celebrating our 150th year. Didn't go into plumbing products right away, but near the beginning, and it's really exciting to see how far we've come. I think the best thing about Kohler is that our product foundation is art. There is a sense of change and inspiration that happens that you don't really get in a lot of other cities. So it's excited to get that here in Kohler, Wisconsin. I love Kohler because it really just feels like a really strong community. And it just feels, it still feels like home for me, which is really awesome. And our final stop of the tour was here at Kohler Chocolates, where back in 2003, Mr. Herb Kohler himself decided that the world needed a better option for the tasty chocolate creation known as the turtle. So, the Terrapin was born. It is made with specialty chocolate made right here exclusively in Kohler, Wisconsin. We've got sweet treats. We've got history and all kinds of awesome artwork here in Kohler. Coming up on Thursday, we're going to tell you why art is so important here in the village. For now, reporting for 58 Hometowns in Kohler, I'm Emerson Lehman. The village of Kohler is more than just a manufacturing hub for the Kohler company. It's filled with a lot of rich culture and specialty artwork from artists all over the world. CBS 58's Emerson Lehman gives us a closer look as part of this week's CBS 58 hometown stop in Kohler. So you probably know of Kohler from the toilets or the sinks or even the showers in your home, but there is so much more to this awesome village here. We're here with Sierra Berry, the program director of arts industry here in Kohler and this is just an incredible art walk that winds through the village. Absolutely. I mean, hundreds of artworks that were created by arts industry residents um, can be found here just, you know, self-guided, free of charge. The arts industry program is a residency program for artists offered by the John Michael Kohler Art Center in collaboration with Kohler um, and actually takes place in the factory. So for over 50 years, we have been inviting artists into the factory to use cast iron, to use cast ceramic, the same materials that you would find in those plumbing products to create their own artwork, to adapt and challenge and uh, see what, what can come out from that. And artwork, obviously a very important part of this village, but as you said, it's a way for the factory and these awesome artists to be able to incorporate everything and come together. Why is that so special here? I mean, having a collaboration between factory, a factory environment and creative artists, you know, there's a structured manufacturing aspect to the factory and artists are coming in with their crazy, um, you know, sometimes challenging ideas. And so finding that harmonious collaboration between the two is um, certainly what keeps the program interesting and I think is a testament to why it has gone on for so long. Beautiful artwork, beautiful scenery here in the village of Kohler. This is a really special place for people to come check out. Absolutely. I can't recommend it enough. Make sure if you're in the area, you check out the art walk, maybe stop by the design center, see some of these pieces up close. So much history, so much art taking place here in your hometown of Kohler. Reporting for CBS 58 Hometowns, I'm Emerson Lehman.